Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Today, we are doing a holiday lip guide. You guys, I have the five best holiday lip colors from the drugstore. I wanted to keep it drugstore because if it is like last minute and you're like, I want a fun holiday lip color, you can just run to your Walgreens, CVS, Target, Walmart, wherever, and just snag these up. I feel like just Obviously, drugstores are around more so than Ulta's and Sephora's, and so I wanted to just keep this all drugstore, showing you guys, <clears throat> sorry, the five best lip colors to wear this year for the holiday season. I have a ton of different reds to share with you guys. That's what I'm really focusing on because I feel like the holiday time is just a great time to pull out your red lips, and I have all different kinds. I have this one that I'm wearing today, which is a more orangey red. I have some more berries, some more pinks. So I feel like I got a really good range and I only am sharing five colors and I have a lot of different finishes too as far as like gloss, cream lipstick, liquid lipstick, matte lipstick, I've got it all covered for you guys. So if you want to see these five lip colors that I think everyone needs to be wearing this holiday season, then let's just go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and start off with what I have on my lips right now and it is from CoverGirl and it is one of their cream lipsticks in the shade Succulent Cherry. So this is a gorgeous orange red. This is like, still, it looks like a red lipstick, but it does have that warm orange undertone to it. So compared to the other ones I'm going to show with you guys, share with you guys, this is the first one right here in the lineup. So as you guys can see, it's definitely the most orangey kind of tone. So if you're someone who you feel like that really flatters you, um, your skin tone and all of that good stuff, definitely check this out and it's a really good cream formula. I think sometimes this holiday season we can get into like long wear matte lips and I am going to share some with you guys um, but also this time of year things get a little dry and our lips especially can get dry and sometimes putting a matte liquid lipstick on is the worst thing we can do for our lips and it'll look bad, it'll look crusty and crepey and gross. So sometimes a good cream lipstick is just the best way to go. And if you are eating and stuff, you can just touch it up. Although this does have like a little bit of a staining effect to it. So it's not like something you're going to have to touch up constantly and it's not going to wear off really quick, but you might have to touch it up, but it does feel really comfortable to wear and it looks really comfortable on the lips. I have been sick and so right now my lips are just dry and just not in their best shape ever. And so I feel like this just doesn't enhance any of that grossness. It just makes my lips look really good and shiny and just nice and seamless. So I love that. All right, the next one. So we're going to go this way now. This one right here is a little bit more pink and it is from Revlon and it is one of their super lustrous lipsticks in Cherries in the Snow. This is a cream formula. So again, just like the CoverGirl, it goes on really beautiful and just creamy and has a little bit of shine but not too much. I love this super lustrous formula. It's been around forever for a reason and this shade is just so beautiful because while the CoverGirl is like a classic red with some orange in it, this is your classic red mixed with pink. It has definitely a lot of pink in there but it still has some of that red berry kind of undertone. I love this type of shade on my skin tone personally. This is what I feel the most comfortable wearing. Um, because it's not like a really, really deep berry. It's not a really bright red. It's kind of just a bright berry shade without being too purple. It's still got some red in there, and I just think it looks so glamorous for the holidays. Now, the next one over is a little bit deeper, and this one is a matte lipstick, and it is from Flower Beauty. So this is their matte lipstick in 125 Wild Berry. This is your classic berry shade. I love this color so much because it's like not too red, not too purple, not too brown. It's like all three of them came together and made this lipstick and it has the best like amounts of all of those shades. It's so good. And this is a matte uh, formula, but it's very, very comfortable to wear. I don't feel really dry when I wear this. It doesn't look really crepey and chalky on the lips. It's a really good matte formula. It kind of feels like a cream lipstick, but it looks matte on the lips. And because of that, it is going to wear longer than the cream lipsticks that I just showed you guys. So if you're someone who staying power is really important to you, but you still want to be comfortable, 
this is definitely the way to go. I love this. Also, if you want to be a little bit more vampy, not necessarily like dark and like really vampy, but you don't want to be as bright as the first two, this one is definitely going to be your pick. It is beautiful. Okay, this next one is right here. So it has a lot of shine. It's actually a gloss and it is a newer release. And this is kind of the lip product that inspired this video. So this is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit High Shine Lipstick in the shade Wine is the Answer. I did do a full lip swatch of the entire collection here on my channel, so I'll link that video for you guys. But you might be thinking, Andrea, a dark lip gloss, that is a disaster waiting to happen. Typically, yes. With this formula, a no. It is not like that. This has enough cling to it that it doesn't slip and slide all over the lips and look totally crazy, but it also doesn't have like a matte finish to it. It's so beautiful. So you do get that really nice high shine look, but it's not gonna slip and slide everywhere because it's got a thicker of a formula. And you can kind of build this up a little bit now I will say if you build it up, you're going to have probably a little bit more bleeding than if you just do a nice thin layer of this. And it doesn't take a lot of this product to get, to get that berry type of look. I love this because this is like, if you are wanting to wear a berry lip, but you don't want it to be like, it mats out, colors out your lips berry, this is more of like a kiss of berry, if you will. It is just a beautiful shiny, wearable berry color. So I love that so much. Okay, and then the last one here, you can see we kind of go like bright here with like an orangey red, a pinky red. We go a little bit deeper. We go deeper but sheer. And then this one is like muted. And it might not look so much on camera, but it really does on the lips. So this is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Ruler. This is the most long wearing one I'm talking about. This is a liquid matte lipstick. And let me tell you guys, these things do not budge through eating, through drinking, nothing. So if like, you might have to sacrifice a little bit of comfort. Now these are pretty comfortable for a liquid lipstick. However, they are still a liquid lipstick. They're going to feel a little bit drying. So if you're willing to sacrifice comfort for wear time, this is going to be the one that you choose. I really do love this formula and this shade is, I always say the safe red. Of course my dog's barking right now because I'm filming. Why wouldn't he? But I always call this the safe red. So if you're someone who you're like, Andrea, what you're wearing today is way too bright. That's, you know, way too bright. These are too vampy. I would say, okay, I got you covered. This is like a muted red. It's not really bright and it's not bricky and deep or anything like that. Bricky, whatever. It's more of like just a safe, soft red. It looks beautiful on the lips and it still gives you that red lip feel and vibe to it all without being like, whoa, hi, you're wearing red lips. So if you're someone who you don't typically wear red, but you kind of want to start maybe this holiday season, or you just want to try it out, this would be a great one to try because like I said, it's not overly bright or overly dark. It's still got a little bit of just subtlety, subtlety to it, right? Subtlety is a word. Yeah. Subtlety to it. So I just think it's absolutely beautiful. And again, the wear time is freaking awesome on those. Like it goes through eating, drinking, everything these will last. So I love this one for the holidays as well. All right, you guys. So that is it for my holiday lip pick video. I love this time of year for makeup. I feel like you can go all out with your makeup and no one says anything because it's the holiday season. And I just love a good red lip. I think there's just nothing more festive than that. And I wanted to go ahead and get this video up because I know with the last couple weekends here before Christmas, a lot of the parties are starting and everything like that. And so I wanted you guys to be able to run out to your drugstores and get a great red lip to finish off your holiday outfits and to help you through the holiday season. And so thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.